Hi friends, I have the honor and pleasure of having with me Dr. Ame Banker. He is 850 score in this NEET, an awesome score, great performance in this NEET and we are very proud of your achievement. Thank you sir, the honor is all mine. And how are you feeling today? Sir, I am feeling actually really great sir. I am really happy with whatever rank I will get sir, I am very satisfied with my score right now. And uh, how was your journey with DAMS? You joined us for your foundation course in your final year, then you followed it up with a regular course in internship. So what uh, what changes did you feel happened in you when you actually entered uh, the program? Maybe at that time you were thinking something, then mm. when you came into the classes, what was your experience? So, sir, when I actually joined DAMS in the regular class, I was really focused on giving the USMLE, sir. But then I joined DAMS only because I wanted to learn about the stuff. I wanted to learn about final year subjects more in greater detail than what I would have read if I had not joined them. So that was the only reason why I joined them in my final year. But sir, after my uh, final year, I wanted to do something related to neuro. And sir, I found that it's very difficult to get into neurosurgery in the US. So sir, I gave up USMLE and I started full fledged, like fully focused for NEET. And sir, I knew that NEET mein jo karna hai, then dams is a must. And sir, this is what I tell to all my juniors as well. So, so what I found when I joined dams was there are teachers the teachers more than the dams is more of a teaching institute not a professional institute so it was all personal all the teachers were of great help whenever i used to call them even text them on whatsapp and everything so they had replied very promptly and so they were teachers first that is what i felt yeah. sir so actually you know it is like a selection bias or what you know people attracted to us uh, for teaching are usually people have that passion <laughs> because that kind of passion is required to survive as a teacher in dams mm, so we you, you will find that most of the people would have that passion in teaching hmm. uh, you know tell us uh, more about you know your journey in the classes so any particular teachers that you know come to your mind today that you want to mention today or you know you feel that they really influence you in those two years so first of all you sir actually i really loved your three-day radiology class and i thought you covered everything and so sir, it was a great class to attend sir others were tushar sir i really enjoyed his class as well and sir, uh, Anupama ma'am's uh, physiology, it was a great class sir. And I think it was, it was, that was actually one of the best classes I had attended. Very conceptual. Very conceptual. And actually ma'am has that uh, you know, <laughs> slow and steady way of building a tough concept and you know, yes, putting sir. it And sir, so that is what sir, I always was attracted toward conceptual teaching and sir, not factual teaching sir, which unfortunately they ask in NEET. There is a percentage of factual questions, but if you, you know, we see this, this year's paper, there has been an uh, increase in the number of conceptual questions yes sir well. sir actually i was really sir when i entered sir when i went out of my neat exam sir i was really satisfied i thought whatever assessment they had done sir it was a very fair assessment sir it would be a really fair assessment it had both type of questions it had some very easy questions it had conceptual questions and it had factual non questions which were in no way related to what we were going to do in later in life and there were questions which were non doable as well ha, yes, which sir, is a part questions. of any exam you know you can't score 100 out of 100 <laughs> it is not a school mathematics paper it's a competitive exam of course so uh, don't I, that message that i want to actually give through this medium today is that sometimes i see students they panic when they see a non doable question but here you have, you know, even top rankers, they had, you know, questions that they could not solve in the exam. Yes, sir. And I think there will always be 20% of the questions which are really difficult where you will be confused between the three options and everything. And the undoable questions don't decide your rank. It is only the easy questions. It is only the basic factual questions which you as an undergrad, as an MBBS doctor should know. Those questions will determine your rank, not the ones which are so difficult that not even a PG student might be able to get it. How was your approach in the classroom? Like, you know, many people will want to know that, they, you know, when many students are in the class. So mm. they want to know how does a topper sit in the class? <laughs> Wha what was your, you know, goal when the teacher is teaching? And how did you, you know, were you, uh, you know, distracted by things or phones or did you keep all the distractions off? What was your strategy? No, so the classes, actually, that is the great thing about dams. So two days, you forget everything and give it all to the class. So you reach on time. You start writing notes and I think notes will be the most important study material throughout an entire year. The better notes you will make, the more chances of getting a higher score in need. Because of, of course in two days they can't cover the entire subjects but they cover the important topics and the cover and somehow it's intuition or I don't know there are few teachers who told us that this question might be asked in 2017 neat and it got asked so that kind of intuition is impossible without the uh, without the classes and so give it your all in the class 
Did you enjoy the you know class tests and the grand tests that we do and the testing mechanism that runs parallel to the classes? Sir, I actually really enjoyed the subject wise test and I really enjoyed the grand test, sir. So both of them were really conceptual. At least the subject wise tests were brilliant, sir. Really conceptual. They and that gave you a very fair assessment of where you stand uh, stand as per the subject as far as the subject goes. So if you're in the top 10 percentile of that subject, you know that you've done that subject well and now you can leave that subject aside and focus, you know, on the weaker parts of your uh, weaker subjects. Did you utilize the DVT session that we conducted? Yes, sir. I went there all the three days. And, sir, that is... DVT book is your last day revision book. It has such a high yield of subjects that the last two days before my NEET exam, that was the DVT and the mop-ups. Those were the only two things which I had read the last two days. And, sir, what I felt was that you start making a list of, you know, the most commons and all the factual things which unless you do the day before the exam, you're not going to remember. So I had made one book, which was the DVT book, which was the mop-ups and such most commons and the factual questions, the chromosome numbers the and all of yeah. those. And, and, and that's a very important strategy and if you notice, you know, most of the good rankers will talk about it. That in the last two days, you have to look at volatile things. Yes. And well you have to make out what is volatile for you. Yes, for example, sir. he said chromosome number, I forget. <laughs> and ev you know, every one or two exams, you have a question on that. And second thing is that, you know, there are things that you forget or you want to revise visuals. And so he kept DVT for the end DVT. revision as well. Yes, sir. And one thing. more thing which I for thought was don't neglect any subject. For the last two days, try to revise all 19 subjects. Then you get an orientation of every subject it is. Even if, for example, anatomy was one of my stronger subjects. And I'd read anatomy 20 days before the exam. But still, last day, I had gone through at least the volatile parts of anatomy as well. So go through all the 19 subjects two days before the exam. Did you appear for the CBT test that we had uh, taken CBT 1 and 2 which was done in computer centers in you know like the exam environment? Did you appear for them? Yes sir, I appeared for both of them and CBT 1 was actually it gave me an exam feeling. I was really terrified of appearing and I was really glad with the marks. It had the same feeling which I got for NEET. So they, that gave you the match practice? 100% uh, it did. And so that actually gave me what I should do two days before the exam. That was the reason why I developed this strategy of mine. You realize that what you are forgetting yes and what sir. you need to like look at. So you, you, you realize CBT to uh, you know help you form your further strategy? Yes, sir. CBT May one. I ask you your rank in CBT 1 and 2? Sir, in CBT 1, I was 48th. And in CBT 2, I was 40th. OK. So you found a good correlation between how you performed finally and what the test was? Yes, offering. sir. Very. Yes, sir. Uh, Yes. And were you an uh, active member of the DAMS Facebook group and did you ask doubts or did you see what others are asking, so what the teachers are updating? So sir, the last four months I was really active on DAMS club. So at least I used to spend what 30 minutes to 40 minutes per day on the club. And sir, one thing was f which I, what I found was I used to go through all the teachers' updates. And sir, that was something which is must and I think many of the questions in NEET, in AIMS and all that come do come from the update part. Now this year what we have done is, uh, I don't know if you have already looked at it or not, we have launched an app called as eMedicos. And in that app, now we, I have created our feature now that you can actually select expert only feed. Yes. Sir. So all the other feeds will <laughs> go and you can only see what the teacher are updating. You want to see all feed, you can do that. And you can actually do subject wise curation as well. Yes, sir. sir so I, and I did go through the mop-ups in the eMedicos e -E app as yes, well. Yes. And sir, one more thing, what I did go through was the Dams Daily Challenge on, face, uh, on YouTube, yes. sir. So on YouTube, I think you have great playlists regarding two minutes, spotters yeah. and the neuropath and the radiopath and all those series, sir. I used to, uh, yeah. I used to uh, watch them whenever I was feeling bored and whenever I didn't want to study, I used to go through those videos. Hey, my goal on that YouTube channel is to create something of an integration, which we are not able to do in a you know classroom where we cannot have five people teach it. Yes, so uh, which we try to do on the video. I'm sir, so happy that you. Uh, it's uh, a really great it. to learn that yeah. way, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I am so happy that you actually enjoyed it and uh, it is one of the things that we keep doing so that we can give you some more material through another way, yes, some sir. more way to keep remembering. My idea in DAMS has been to create a blended learning. Blended means that it has to be a face to face classroom followed by some learning in the tests, mm -hmm. some learning through the YouTube videos, some learning through the Facebook group discussions, some learning on the GT, GT videos, yes. some learning in the DVT and it has to be repeated hammering. And we blend theory with the testing. And that sir, it is, is a great concern. It is a great way of teaching. I really genuinely feel that, sir. Thank, thank you so much for your appreciation. And now, can you, you know, tell us, like, now, because you are such a high scorer in this NEET exam, and there would be future NEET aspirants. You know, you appeared for this NEET exam. Can you analyze the paper for future aspirants? Like, what was the exam all about? 
how what percentage was factual what percentage was conceptual what 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 was visual like can you help the future aspirants here so what i felt while giving the neat was that there were 10% or 20% of the questions which were so easy that if you get those wrong you were like out of running so so those you really really need to focus on the basics first there were 20 to 30% of the questions which were visual based which i think dvt had covered most of them genuinely dvt covered 80 to 90% of all the visuals that were asked so there were 30% of the questions which, which were good conceptual questions sir i yeah. think those were the rank deciding questions yes. those questions if you had really studied not only on in your internship year but throughout your mbbs only then you would have been able to go th get those right and so the last 10 to 20% whatever are remaining so those were the factual ones those were the tough ones which i don't think determine your rank at all so like it's like a very graded kind of exam and this is a how a beautiful exam should be there should be questions which everybody should know yes sir there should be questions which nobody should know there should be questions which at you know person who elevates on the day of the exam and applies yes, should sir. be so th this is what you know sir, i, I have gained from most of the people who have done well so uh, you know uh, so that tested your abilities on all counts yes sir i think it was a very fair assessment whatever i had studied this year whatever i had studied in my entire five years whatever sacrifices whatever hard work had gone into it i think neat paper after coming out i felt it was a fair assessment of everything do you you know have you decided on any branch that you want to take or you are still thinking like what is your idea right now so sir my first choice would be neurosurgery like that is something which i really want to do and sir as a another option i would consider interventional radiology not md radiology diagnostic but interventional i wish to do something procedure or interventional related that so is you are sure. thinking on those terms right yes, now yes sir and i also want to tell you now that next year what we have done is we have gone a step further like this year we had grant tests with videos next year even the swt in dams would have a video attached to it for people to rapidly revise and even next year the crs would come with a video companion okay where you know a teacher will read the same book and tell you what is to be important what is not to be missed so my idea is to uh, take the blended learning to the next level through this media so i thought you know i'll tell you <laughs> at this stage because and sir it uh, will help at least for the difficult mcqs at least for the ones where you know you feel that as if the answer is incorrect uh, where you feel doubts whether your answer yes. is correct videos do help a lot yes. they, they actually reaffirm that okay this is the answer exactly you, know, sir, you, yes. you get convinced more and sir most of the times when i felt that my answer is right and the teacher's answer is wrong the test answer is wrong and used to go through the videos i had learned an entirely new concept only the and it was a basic conceptual mistake why i felt that my answer was right and the swt answer was wrong and i feel that every time you make a conceptual mistake and you correct it, it you improve your rank and sir it's a great you feeling improve, actually you, you learn something new yes because otherwise what will happen is you will remain at the same level where you were at the beginning of the test yes sir but exactly but if you make a error and correct it yes, then sir. you improve and sir that's what it's a great feeling to make a mistake before the neat exam and not <laughs> on the day <laughs> Do you want to you know say anything motivational to future aspirants right Yes sir and sir this is what I'd said in my final year speech also in my valedictorian speech in civil sir this is what I say to all my juniors that need those are these are just pixels on the computer screen they will not determine what kind of doctor you are going to be they will not determine your future life in any way yes neat is ex is important yes neat will get you into a good school in a good hospital but neat is not going to determine what kind of doctor you are going to be all that is only your hard work neat is just a stepping stone in your life it is not an it is an accomplishment but yeah, it I is agree. not you know, i agree even i have seen in my life that you know neat is the beginning point but what you do after that in your post graduation how much work you put yes. how <laughs> how well you communicate with the patients how well you learn your surgical skills they will determine yes where you sir. reach in life so because need only this test this is the beginning this is the beginning yes sir so because need only test your academic skills need does not test how you interact with the patients need does not test how good your surgical skills are need does not test test how you interact with other doctors as well and all that are equally important once you grow up i'm sure sir you would agree with Le, what i have learned over the years is that you know you look at need as a gateway don't look at this as a destination exactly this is sir. a gateway to a specialized track like when we are in mbbs we are moving in a multi uh, subject track now you can't excel in everything you can't no. be an anatomist <laughs> and a surgeon everything else. so you have to go into a specialized mm. track so that is where need comes into play so once you enter a specialized track then everything else will start mattering exactly. surgical scale communication relationships everything will start mattering to build up a huge practice or name or mm. to make a mark on yes, a sir. branch so it's a <laughs> pleasure to you know interact with such a dynamic young man and i'm sure india would have a great uh, uh, neurosurgeon or a neuro interventionist <laughs> in future Thank with you so him much. and i'm so happy to you know meet people who are so clear in mind so the idea here is to understand that 
you know uh, sometimes i've seen people who top in a competitive exam they take okay uh, the battle is won no it's it's the beginning of the battle and after that you work very hard in your post graduation and yes. there onwards to reach to the level that you really want to reach yes thank you so I, much i sir. wish you all the best for your future it's a pleasure and honor to talk to you i wish you all the best on behalf of the entire dams team we are very proud of <laughs> your achievement a two year regular classroom program with us and we are very very, very proud of his achievement god bless you congratulations sir the honor is all mine sir thank, thank you. you thank you